What's Uncle Albert doing? He's watching cars go by. Remember when they came up to visit when we were kids and he'd take a chair out in the front yard every evening to watch the road? Oh, yeah. Hi, David. Hi, Ross. It sure is good to see you boys again. You know, we just can't let this much time pass again. Yeah. Thanks, Aunt Betty. It's great seeing you again, too. But you know, there is something, and it's kind of hard to bring up. We feel it deserves mentioning. And what's that? Well... Well, you may not know it, but uh, Woody always had a lot of money problems. And the family would help him out from time to time. So in light of his good fortune, well, we thought your family might want to make things right. I've been hearing that a lot lately. You know, Coles and my folks would never say nothing if it was just for them, but they're going to need in on this deal, too. <laughs> are, you, are you saying you want money from us? Oh, we just figured, seeing as how, you know, the family took care of Woody and all and kept him on his feet. Vern and I loaned Woody quite a bit. It wasn't like we was rich, but he was my brother-in-law. We couldn't stand to see the family suffer. <clears throat> Look, Aunt Betty, guys, hey, for real, honestly, right? Woody didn't win anything. This is a, a total sham. You're a damn liar. Feed us into your bullshit, Ross. Well, well you want to go? Let's do it. Come on, come in. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, watch my face, okay? I'm on TV. Get, get up on it. What's going on? Get. Have you boys lost your minds? Aunt Betty and her henchmen here are asking for reparations. For what? Oh, they're after Dad's winnings, right? They say we owe them money. See? There is money. Owe oh, them money. What on earth are you talking about, Betty? Now, Kate, you know we helped you and Woody out when he was drinking up everything he earned. You know as well as I do it was the other way around. You were always having him work on your cars for free, getting free gas. And Kate, we're not asking for much, just a token. I kept records. The money you gave him didn't come close to what you owed. He couldn't say no to anybody, and it ruined him. I think you're having a senior moment here, Kate. Just where did you think that money come from when you got a bee in your bonnet to move up to Billings and open up that salon? For my folks when they croaked, that's where. I don't believe the nerve of you people. Usually a person has to die before the vultures start circling. Calm down, Aunt Katie. We didn't mean nothing by it. We were just doing you a courtesy before we go talk to Woody direct. Don't you dare think about asking that poor man for money. He ain't poor, he's rich. Even if he was, he wouldn't give you a blessed penny. I'd put my foot down. Maybe it ain't up to you, Aunt Kate. That's enough. You listen real good. You can all just go fuck yourselves. Boys, get your dad. 